Hey guys, I'm Rachel Edwards here with Red Carpet Report at the Emmys Governor's Ball Preview, where I'm going behind the scenes at Hollywood's biggest after party. Okay, so talk to me a bit about the pastry this year. So the, so the dessert for this year, we're going to do kind of a nostalgic childhood treat called the s'mores. You know, um, when I think about s'mores, I think about campfire, you know, camping in Big Sur up in the PCH, um, yeah. roasting the marshmallows and then just, you know, sandwich it between chocolate and graham cracker cookies. Yeah. So we did the same flavors and components, but in more so, a little bit more sophisticated way. Uh, so what we have here is like toasted, uh, toasted marshmallow. Sorry, let me start over again. Smoked graham cracker crumble, chocolate pop rocks, of course chocolate sauce, and then the actual s'mores. The actual s'mores itself has marshmallow fluff, uh, milk chocolate chantilly, which is almost like a chocolate pudding texture. Mm -hmm. It has a creme brulee center and more chocolate sauce. Uh, what's really cool about the dish, I think, are three characteristics. The chocolate pop rocks, because when you're eating them, they actually pop in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. And then the two chocolates we're using. One is called Alunga, uh -huh. and one is called Dinaya. We partnered up with a company called Coco Berry Chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, the difference that makes uh, what, what they're doing with the chocolate is they trademark a way of the, how they make their chocolate called Q fermentation, mm -hmm. which adds a very distinct aroma and flavor to the chocolate itself. No other chocolate company in the world is doing it. We're very, very lucky and fortunate to be the, one of the first ones to be able to use it in LA. Yeah, definitely. So. When did you first um, start like making pastry and uh, desserts and well, being a chef in general? What, what inspired you? Well, I grew up in a bakery. My parents had a bakery here in Los Angeles in Van Nuys. Uh, when I was 17, they got divorced. They sold it and actually went professional. Okay. Um, and I just grew up in the field, you know, and I, I really got a lot of inspiration from working with some very very good pastry chefs, you know, or around LA. I worked in uh, Las Vegas, uh, New York for a bit, Napa Valley. So it, it was an inspiration from them, you know, just working with them. And what about people at home who are maybe uh, thinking they're going to make some kind of like nice dessert that's not too hard to make? Like, what would you recommend for a party? What kind of like pastry or dessert would you recommend making? I love like, I always say simplicity at its best is the greatest. So for me, like seasonality is great. So going to the farmer's market, seeing what's there, so in the summer, you know, like all the stone fruits, all the berries, cherries are great. You know, it's just simplified, meaning like you could slice up peaches or apricots, yeah. macerate them with mint or um, compress them in a little bit of simple syrup and white wine. In the wintertime, I live using quince, persimmon, uh, all the citrus like blood oranges. So working with the seasons, um, one of my favorite things to make year round is key lime pie. So oh, get it, yeah, yeah. you will even get grabbing fresh, key, you know, fresh limes, juicing them. Yeah. Making the custard and then doing a graham cracker in a, in a, in a simple dish. Yeah. It comes out of the oven. Oh, it's perfect. Delicious. Okay, thank you so much for talking to us. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to click like and subscribe and leave a comment letting me know who you think is going to pick up one of these Emmys.